Hola amigos, today I want to share with you some tips that I use to make the most cinematic footage out of Canon 80D. So, if you're ready, let's roll! Give me my cinematic footage, you dirty buddy! Just joke. First of all, be sure that you use a good SD card capable of keeping bitrate of your camera. If you shoot in MOV format, your maximum bitrate will be about 95 megabits per second. I use SanDisk Extreme Pro cards and totally happy with them. By the way, these cards are water resistant and not afraid of magnetic fields. Super SD cards in one word. And ATD has only one slot for SD cards. So we have no chance for backup if something goes wrong. And we love our footage and don't want something to go wrong. Second one is set your camera to NTSC standard. Set tab, set menu. It is confusing for some videographers who live in PAL standard countries. They think, why NTSC if I live in PAL? Don't worry, the difference is only in light frequencies. In USA the lights are blinking with 60 GHz and in Europe with 50 GHz. If you are in PAL country but use 180 degree rule of a shutter when you shoot in 24 frames per second, you will have no problem with light blinking. If you shoot in 60 frames, you will have to lower shutter by 100 of a second and make your panning moves more slow to maintain shutter speed. NTSC will give you extra space with frames. Instead of getting only 50 frames in pulp, you will have 60 frames in NTSC. From my point of view, good advantage. And again, this problem happens only in houses. If you mostly shoot outside, no worries at all. Third thing is quick settings mode. I like to use C1 and C2 quick setting buttons. They are very handy and easy to set. All you have to do is to switch your camera to mode C or mode C2, make all adjustments, quality, frame rate, shutter speed, ISO, aperture, focus settings, and that's all rocket science, your custom mode is already remembered by the camera. I use C1 mode for 24 FPS and C2 mode for 60 FPS. Force autofocus, in ATD it is damn good, so I don't see reasons not to use it. Almost all the time I set it to servo AF mode and I prefer flexi-zone multi-mode or flexi-zone single in some conditions if I need precise focusing on some things. But we are still not done with autofocus, we can make even more customization in tab 1, menu 4. Last two settings. First is autofocus speed, my speed is set to minus 4. Second one is autofocus sensitivity, mine is 0 and I find it best for my shooting. Fifth, exposition and ISO. Put your exposition compensation to 0 and select auto ISO. But before selecting auto ISO, go to tab 1, menu 2. And in ISO settings for video, our maximum should be 6400. Even on those levels, the video will be very noisy. And speaking about noise, if you shoot on high ISO values, higher than 3200, my recommendation is to turn on noise removal in tab 1 menu 3 and put it to standard value. You will have less pain in post with denoising. But my main recommendation with ATD, try to stay away of low light shooting on high ISO levels. The sensor is very noisy, white balance. I like to put it to auto with white priority. Fix is audio. Audio is the king. Try to use some external mic and always set the audio levels not higher than 12. And always double check if you turned on the external mic or buy yourself new Rode mic that turns on with the camera. Handy thing. 7 is picture profiles. I tried all of them and even downloaded Cine Style and EOS HD C Log. But it is hard to maintain with them in bright daylight, because you hardly see what is happening on the screen, and they are not really C-Log, so I switched to standard neutral profile, which gives you a little bit of space in post and pleasant to work with while shooting. Last tip is monitoring your shooting process. Don't forget to turn on brightness histogram in tab 2, menu 3, and be careful not to clip your highlights or shadows. If needed, in this menu you can also turn on playback grid for better framing, but I don't like to turn it on, because the screen becomes too overloaded with info. And almost forgot to tell you, in tab 3, menu 2, turn the monitor brightness to maximum, this will help during daylight shooting. So guys, thanks for watching, if you like the video, don't forget to push like button, if no, crash it, subscribe, be always inspired and see you next time.